You may have seen this uh, EMAC in the back of my videos when I've been filming the NABU lately. And I picked this up on uh, Facebook Marketplace the other day. And the keyboard that they gave me was in some pretty rough shape, but the EMAC itself works great. Well, I took it apart and as you can see here, there is a lot of corrosion on this board. In fact, it's, uh, it's in pretty rough shape, really. Um, I'm hoping that I can clean it all off with some rubbing alcohol here. And this is actually 99. I, I filled it up with 99. I just reused the container. And uh, we're gonna resolder some of these connections here and see if we can clean this up. Okay, so looks like uh, something must have been spilled in here, I'm guessing, because this looks like it could have, that corrosion that's on there, um, it doesn't look as bad on the camera, but it's pretty bad in real life here. You can take a look at that. I'm guessing maybe Coke, some sort of acidic pop, perhaps. So hopefully we can get this guy working. I'm gonna uh, separate the membrane here and see if we can clean this up. Okay, just to give you an idea of, I guess, whatever was in here, uh, you can see the rust that had happened. So that's um, interesting. Okay, I put down some paper towel just so that we can keep both sides clean and uh, it'll absorb some of the alcohol on both sides as I do both sides here. I see you eyeing up my new ghetto blaster, my boom box. Yeah, I just picked that up today. And uh, what's interesting about that is it showed up on Facebook Marketplace and I jumped at it because I tell you what, I grew up, this was the boom box, same model, same everything that I was given when I was, uh, I think I was like eight years old. And <laughs> I've lost mine throughout time, but this thing is in such great shape, I tell you. So it has a uh, auxiliary input in the back, and I got one of those little USB, or not USB, uh, Bluetooth dongles with the RCA jacks on them. So I'm gonna be taking this thing apart pretty soon. Yeah, I'm gonna throw in the, US, uh, the Bluetooth module in there, and then I'm gonna Bluetoothify that guy. Even though I just ordered a whole box of blank cassettes so I can start making mixtapes. I'm so stoked. Wow, look at that. You can see, you can see all the dirt and grime that came off that, so. Looks like it could have been something dark. I mean, that could have just be a mixture of, of dirt in there too, but um, given the fact that there's so much corrosion in here, I would think it'd be pop. You know, all you pop drinkers out there. You pop drinkers, get away from my computers. Okay, so I got both sides clean and I don't know if you can make it out in the light, but it's uh, it's pretty dirty. So there was definitely a lot of a lot of grime in there. So I think that's about as clean as she's gonna get. Um, one of the things that I know a lot of people would wear gloves, rubber gloves when they do this, but I'm sitting here at my cabin right now and uh, I'm equipped with gloves inside of the shed for when I'm working on my engines with my, all my watercrafts, but I'm not gonna go up there right now and get it because I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I was right, minus 13 and dropping for seven o'clock PM. So <laughs> I'm not gonna be uh, venturing outside anytime soon if I don't have to. So we can, um, I see here this says upper. So to put this back together again, what I'll have to do is uh, the lower down here and then put the upper on top of it so that they both words are both there i'm surprised this isn't upper and lower written in chinese since that's probably who put this together to begin with Let's see so i did manage to clean this led up pretty good as you can see there's no spots of rust on it anymore so that should be fine okay see what they've done is they've soldered the shield on here. Um, the corrosion broke away this part up here. So I guess since I have to get the soldering out to fix the rest of this anyway, we'll, uh, we'll dab this up. I don't think I need to reflow any of this. I know I just finished saying that I don't have a lot of tools here, but I will tell you that I have a, um, a reflow uh, heat gun that I use for, for soldering. And the only reason why I have that here is because I had had to replace and fix um, circuit boards on some of my CDs. So I don't know if I'll have to do that. I think I could just use new solder and it should be just fine. 
I'm just gonna dose this circuit board before I start soldering with uh, rubbing alcohol here. And just see if I can get some of that corrosion off before I start putting heat at it. Okay, let's just lightly dab this. I know there's a lot of traces on on here, over here, that worry me a little bit, but. Okay, this guy is getting powered up. And after scrubbing this down, she's looking a little bit better. It's not too bad. It's uh, definitely got, ooh, something gross in there. Ugh, yuck. Ugh. <laughs> I don't like touching other people's grossness. Okay, so. Um, Oh, that's just all powder. Wow. I thought that was uh, some paper towel or something, but that was just like a powder that had built up there. Hmm. That looks pretty good too. And how are these guys looking? Not bad. I mean, I haven't actually scrubbed anything yet, so. Got some gunk right there. Somebody's boogers on my my board, my booger board. And what's that looking there? Well, I think <laughs> I think I'm gonna just give some heat to these connections, and we'll see if that uh, gets this guy working. Well, I don't have three hands, so you couldn't see what I was doing, but I essentially just uh, kept cleaning the tip over and over again because this board had some flux on it. It was pretty dirty. And then what I would do is I would just use this, put some solder and the tip together and I'd push down pretty hard on each one of these and add new solder to it. And surprised that there's actually quite a bit of flux still in here. You can see it down here. You see all that color? And the other place where there was quite a bit of flux that made it easy for me to, it was right here. Look at that. <clears throat> so I was able to Add new solder to that easily by heating it up. So I managed to liberate the Q-tip from the medicine cabinet. So that will make this a little easier. Cleaner than factory. And more too. Okay. That looks great. I have done this side as well. So as you can see back side is nice and clean. Okay, okay. I'll do this too. I mean, we're here, right? Might as well. When in Rome. When in keyboards. And it's because when they manufactured it, they uh, intended for this to be broken off. So they just had two little pieces come off there. So they only had to manufacture and cut one PCB, and then they would break this piece off when uh, when they manufacture or when they assemble. Hmm. So let's just give it a quick look. Make sure we're happy with everything. I'm glad I don't have to scrape over those SMDs with the soldering iron iron tip. They look like they're clean, but I think I'm going to give them a little spray down. Let's just take the old Q-tip tool and see if we can clean it up a little bit more. Okay. 
I think the best part about using 99 proof alcohol, rubbing alcohol, is uh, all you have to do is blow on it and it evaporates so quickly. So I covered this board in alcohol, but she's nice and clean now. How about these little dirty holes here? How are they looking? Uh, not too bad. I mean, they're just gonna get stuff shoved in there anyway. I'm sure I can clean those out later if there's a problem, but I think it's time to put this bad boy back together. I replaced our napkin because it was starting to get pretty dirty and it had lots of uh, balls of solder all over it, but look at this. That's what we cleaned cleaned off the PCB. So yeah, it needed, to, needed a bath, that's for sure. I uh, soldered the shield back on. I've been rubbing these connections here. And look at the end of the uh, Q-tip here. Enjoy your little sponge bath I'm giving you. Lower as in the bottom of this. Yeah, I guess so, that's lower. And then this is upper. Yeah, there we go. So it's reverse because <laughs> we're putting this together backwards. Hey, wait a second. You were supposed to tell me we didn't put the LED in for the, the caps lock key. So we just want to get our LED in here facing that way. Is that right? Yeah, that looks about right. I don't know if this is anything like putting a head gasket on a car engine, but if so, you're always supposed to start from the outside and do a cross star pattern. So then I did one there. So now I would jump over to the opposite side over here and do it here. Up, jump to the furthest, which would be over here, and then back over here, over here, and then just do a star. That's how you put a head gasket on an engine. And guess who didn't lose any screws yet? And it feels like every key, oh no! Did we miss a cup? Well, I couldn't find it, so I took the key out for the time being, and I'm sure my Roomba will come across it one day because it's gotta, gotta be in the floor someplace. There's nowhere else it really could have gone. Now the PCB. How did we figure this out? We went this way? Yes, and it looks like there's little, oh yeah, look, there's little holes here that are guides to put that in. These must go under, I think, or over. What do you think, under or over? No, they can't go over because then these wires would be pushing into the top of that, so they must go under. Oh look, they have a little groove here, and there's a little cut out there. So it's either that way, or okay, gather that way. Because this is going to be Okay, so the big reveal, I guess we can go make sure if it works. Got a little key here, there. Good as new. <laughs> what were they thinking with this, <laughs> with this mouse? Okay, it's got to boot up. Let's load up terminal here. And let's type some characters. 
Oh yeah, nice. We have a working keyboard. Minus my enter key over here. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Okay, so it wasn't all in vain. Um, I'll see. I'll see if I'll seek my Roomba tomorrow around the cottage to see if I can find uh, <laughs> find my my missing cup. But there you have it, resurrected keyboard from I don't know what happened to it, but somebody put it through its its uh, trials and tribulations because now we have it fixed. <laughs> okay, see you in the next video.